Do you know that the exchange rate between Singapore dollars and Brunei dollars will always be 1 is to 1, which means that you can actually use Brunei dollars as Singapore dollars here in Singapore, and here's something even more shocking, the Malaysian ringgit uh, could have been the same today leh. So, so, uh, so, I know some of you didn't even know what cash looks like nowadays, but for all folks like us, uh, we sometimes will receive Brunei dollars and we'll have to treat them like Singapore dollars. You see, if you look at the exchange rate of Singapore and Brunei, uh, it's always at 1 is to 1, or they call it at par. But why they? For that, uh, we have to look at history first. You see, back in the past, the British Empire uh, went around the world uh, and just collected countries uh, like they are collecting Pokemon. Uh. At their peak, uh, they control almost like 20 to 23 percent of the world population. Eh. So, in the past, Singapore, Malaysia, and Brunei uh, were all kind of under the British Empire. Uh. Then, soon after World War II, countries started to gain independence one by one. You see, depending on the regions, uh, different currencies were used. Before 1953, uh, the Malaya and Brunei were using the Malaya dollars, Sarawak was using the Sarawak noodles, and Singapore was using new points. But you get the idea, la. it's like Tan Zi Wei is using pay, la. Gong Bi Lang is using pay now, and I'm using red pay. Confusing ah bro, confusing ah, confusing ah. So, to make things less confusing, from 1953 onwards, everyone around this region ah, started to use the Malaya and British Brunei dollar. Kind of like everyone now ah, just use pay now instead of the various other payment platforms. Ah. But, you should know what happened. Ah. Malaysia and Singapore gained independence, and we want our own currencies. But then again, ah, we are all still super close in trading. Eh. It's like one family ah, decided to use different messaging platforms, ah, but still want to have a common group chat. Like that, what should we use? Ah? WhatsApp, Telegram, or or what, what SMS ah? SMS no group chat lah, you bodo. That's why I told my family to use SMS for a group chat ma, you bodo. You smart sir. But you get the idea lah. We want to be close but want to use the same currency. So in 1967 uh, Singapore, Malaysia and Brunei signed a of understanding which is an agreement but not yet a strong contract uh, called the Currency Interchange Agreement whereby banks in each country uh, will accept and pay without charge the notes and coins of the other countries and exchange them for local currency. Basically, uh, since the exchange rate is always at 1 is to 1, uh, so it's like trading between Yishun and Jurong, uh, instead of trading between Singapore and uh, you know, say, uh, Australia. Uh, easier, right? So, this agreement uh, also states that the three countries are uh, spread to a 1 to 1 ratio with the pound, you know, kind of like how some cryptocurrency uh, will be paired with real US dollars. However, uh, they digging from pound shortly uh, cause of return uh, devalue their pounds. Basically, they, they, they make the pound uh, a lot cheaper than a USD. Uh. But this agreement with the three countries uh, stayed until 1973, which was just six years later uh, when Malaysia wanted out from this agreement due to several reasons. One of them uh, is that in the early 1970s, uh, countries started to realize that pegging their currencies to another currency, uh, like the US dollar, uh, might not be beneficial. You see, since 1944, uh, after World War II, uh, many currencies were then pegged to the USD, but due to domestic problems in the US from 1971, the value of the USD fluctuated significantly. This fluctuation uh, negatively affected the currencies of other countries, uh, leading them to move away from the fixed exchange rates. That was then called the collapse of the Bradley Woods system. Though Malaysia was not pegged to the USD, uh, they kind of has this fixed exchange rate with Singapore and Brunei. Ma. So, Malaysia left the agreement, uh, while Singapore and Brunei uh, continue with it. And as you probably know by now, uh, that decision lead to us uh, having the ability to multiply and divide numbers uh, by 3.5 uh, without a need for a calculator. Eh. Now, do know that this is a super simplified version of what happened. Uh. If you want to know more, uh, go do your own research. Uh. If you think you have become smarter, uh, watch this video also. Uh. And thank you for spending almost 4 minutes with me. Uh. I really appreciate it.